Hey friends, so I was just thinking, there's never made a, I've never made a video on tools I wish I never bought or procured and don't use, and that would really help people save a lot of money and time. Um, and so I still have some around. I've gotten rid of a lot of them and just given them away and whatever. But here are some. So, well, the first big thing I wish I never bought is chicken wire now chicken wire can be okay for this use alone like just keeping pests out of a chicken coop although it's just because it's kind of works and really cheap but uh let's see there's a lot of better resources for that as well like half inch hardware cloth is going to work better but it's going to cost a little more so chicken wire is what it is because it's just so cheap um otherwise except for this purpose every bit of chicken wire i've ever bought i wish i didn't have and i wish i had never gotten and i ended up throwing it out so if you need smaller openings you can use quarter inch hardware cloth or half inch that's usually going to be better than chicken wire for most things so on to tools. This thing is the stupidest thing in the freaking world. It's made by Bully Tools. Well, you see how that's dead straight? Flat forks and kind of like harvest forks, whatever you want to call them, are curved for a reason. This is just crude. I've used it a couple times enough to realize I don't want to use it. If anyone wants it, they can have it. Um, another one. Well, this Magna Grisha hoe, I haven't found much of a use for. A really nice client of ours gave it to us, and I, I can't figure out what its really proper purpose would be. Um, these really cheap, you know, um, kind of harvest or flat forks, Definitely suck. Get a good one. My only really good one is near my garden right now. Um, I do use them for digging potatoes and just very loose, light loosening in the garden. You can see that one's bent. Um, when it comes to, and it, they should have a convex back to them. Yeah, these actually do. The back is convexed and not just dead flat. And so that one is more is flatter, and that's why it's bent. Um, those are, I'd say, the big ones um, that I really wish I never got. Um, otherwise, just like really cheap tools, um, really poor handled digging spades. Get a really nice one like Full Steel Am Leonard or their Full Strap or, or a, a King of Spades, which is awesome. Um, you know, know the difference between a manure fork and a pitchfork. If you're moving mulch, you need it needs to have ten tines. Um, it's not going to work if it's five tines. That's for pitching hay, which is, does not behave like manure. Um, we I need I have, this is after a summer of chaos and a lot of work, so I've got a lot of handles to rehang. Um, bow rakes tend to work a lot better than these flat, uh, stiff rakes. So when you get a stiff rake, um, where are there any hanging up right now? Yeah, everything's kind of in chaos mode. Get one with a bow. So it's a bow rake, a bow on the head rather than flat. Yeah. So like that one has this bow versus it being dead flat. I find that's much more versatile. Um, yeah, that's uh, some of the main ones. Oh, there's also this really stupid hoe that I bought. You see right there. It's from Earth Tools. I love Earth Tools for BCS stuff, but that is a hoe. It came damaged the point, but I think it's still a really crappy hoe. I thought I could use it for very small work, but stirrup, the stirrup hoe is the only hoe I use unless I'm like mixing concrete or really moving a lot of material. Like when you, you know, then you need a bigger, a bigger hoe. I don't use hose too much. Um, I try to disturb the soil as little as possible. This is a great size digging bar, rock bar. It's not too ridiculous, but, um, and then of course, 
I mean, I have videos about tools that I recommend, so I'm not even going to go there because <laughs> there's a lot of ones I recommend. Meadow Creature Broad Forks are the big one, or a big one. And then also, this is much more reasonable size. It's a Rebel Garden Tools by Wilson Alvarez, and that's a, a fork you can use in much smaller spaces and just grab and bring in, the, in a smaller greenhouse. Really great fork. If you're only going to one, I might get that unless you're like larger scale and you need a big, bigger broad fork. If you find a good way to hang Maddox, pick Maddox and Axe Maddox, let me know. I just put them in these old, it takes up a lot of room, but I put them in a uh, tires. So I would say you're looking at a little bit disorganized situation right now. Sorry, but um, I would say those are some of the, the tools I would mention to avoid and the chicken wire piece, man, gals, whoever, just don't go there. Resist the urge to buy chicken wire.